Near side of that. Far side. Far side. Far side. Oh, okay. I'm on that. I'm born with it. Oh, okay. I want you to turn this direction. I don't want you to look at that line. I want you to look at something else. Right? Just look at this corner up here. Okay. And as you look at that, uh, what I want you to do is I just want you to stare at that for just a few minutes. And as your eyes get a little bit more tired, just go ahead and just close your eyes as they get tired. <laughs> You're not tired? You're not staring hard enough at that. And just relax. You'll put your arms down. And just relax. No, 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 your eyes now. Just relax. Calm. Relax your entire body. Now what I want you to do is I'm standing right in front of you. I want to, I want to ask you to do something. Just go ahead and rock back and forth on your feet until you rock a little bit too much and rock forward and I'll catch you. Stand still now. And just relax every muscle in your body. I'm going to put a chair behind you and you comfortably sit in this chair. Go ahead. Control. Just relax. And place your hands on your lap and just relax your hands. Relax your entire body. Comfortable and relaxed as we go deeper and deeper to sleep. Now remember what we did before. Relax every muscle in your body, starting with the top of your head. Relax every muscle on the top of your head. All the way down to your eyes and relax your eyes. Comfortable and relaxed. When your breathing begins to slow, and as your breathing slows down, you go deeper and deeper to sleep. Relax your neck muscles. Begin now to count backwards. From 50 to 1. Starting this way. 50, 49. And continue to relax every muscle on your body. Relax comfortably. Relax the muscles in your neck now and allow your head to droop forward just a little bit. And remember how comfortable it is. And you're warm now. You relax, sleep deep, and every sound you hear causes you to go deeper and deeper to sleep. And as you go deeper, your arms relax a little bit more. Relax your right arm all the way down your fingertips. And now relax your left arm all the way down to the fingertips there. Calm and relax, your arms are relaxed. Every muscle in your body is more relaxed. Relax all the way down now your left leg. Relax your leg all the way to your toes. And that causes your toes to wiggle just a little. It causes you to go deeper to sleep, to breathe slower and lower. And your head drops just a little more as you go deeper to sleep. And relax your right leg the same way. Past your down past your calf as you go to sleep. And relax. All the way down to your toes. Your right toes, all of them wiggle now. Inside your shoe, your toes wiggle. And your body is limp and relaxed. And as I pick up your arm, it's totally relaxed. Totally relaxed. Now what I'm going to do is I pick up this arm. I'm going to tie a very large helium balloon to it. It's going to go all the way around your wrist and drag your arm higher in the air. Higher and higher. And point to the sun. And as you relax, the rest of your body is totally relaxed. But that helium balloon pulls that arm up, even though it's totally relaxed. And that arm is totally relaxed. 
Now I'm going to cut the string and that arm is going to fall to your lap. Now as you relax there and you sleep, you're totally, totally relaxed and sleep. The last time you went on a listing presentation, or if you haven't, Imagine what it was like to go on a listing presentation and not get the listing, and how badly you felt. Now imagine how good you'll feel when you do get a listing. Let's see the smile on your face. You're happy. You're excited. It's a marketable listing. It's a property that everybody in the office will be happy that you listed because several people will have buyers that are looking for that kind of property. Can you see the property in your mind? Imagine what it would be like. Draw a picture of a home. Somewhere here in the winter. And a seller standing on the porch, waving goodbye as you drive away, with your listing on the seat of the car next to you. And you're pleased and you're happy Go ahead and wave goodbye to them as you drive away. Go ahead and wave. Totally relaxed now. And happy and comfortable as you drive away. Remember what it feels like. Remember the picture of the home and the sellers on the porch. And how good you feel. And now we're going to count backwards. Excuse me, let's count forward from one to ten. And we're going to bring you out of this and you're going to be excited to go out and get a listing. You'll go out and make a call when we get through. <clears throat> you'll make several calls and you'll call at least a, a hundred people or fewer, but a hundred if you have to, to get a listing presentation and appointment. You'll stay here as long as it takes today to make those hundred calls if you don't get an appointment before that. Do you understand? Okay, let's count now. One, we're waking up just a little bit more. Two, a little bit more awake. Three, a little more awake and your breathing increases. Four, a little bit faster and your blood goes throughout your body. Five, a little bit faster. Six, Seven, a little bit higher, awake now, seven, eight, nine, ten, you're wide awake, you're wide awake. Did fine, did fine, did fine. Can you tap? Yeah, have a seat. Anybody see what I saw? She wasn't really very deep, was she? She wasn't, and I'll tell you why, because most of the time when we do group inductions, everybody's in a group and they say, you know, but when we get somebody in front of a group, it's not as easy to do because they're a little self-conscious about it. Okay. Now, we could bring Vince up and we could hypnotize him and I'll bet he'd go right No, 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 I do want to use Vince. She really, she really wanted, she really wanted Vince to come up here so that she could laugh. At her. Yeah. Laugh. And now we brought her up here, but we're going to do something quite different this time. We're going to use a little bit faster induction with Marty, so, because remember there are what I tell you about a hundred different inductions. Okay. Now what I want you to do is I want you to count backwards, Marty. But I just want you from wherever you want. My eyes closed. Yes. Close your eyes. Are you relaxed now? Go ahead and relax completely your entire body. And place your hands now firmly on your lap. And totally relax now. Relax every muscle in your body. Relax your neck as your head droops further and further forward. You relax every muscle in your body. Totally, calmly relaxed. Relax and sleep. Relax every muscle in your body as your breathing gets slower and lower. 
and slower and lower as you relax every muscle in your body. Completely and totally relaxed. Now, Marty, would you object to me asking you to do some things in front of the group that you might not normally do in front of the group? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then I won't ask you to do those things. But I will ask you to do a couple other things. What I'm going to ask you to do is envision in your mind a person who is slimmer and trimmer, as you have seen that picture before. Most of us, each day as we get ready to go to work in the morning, will stand in front of the mirror and envision, if you will, in your mind, yourself standing in front of the mirror, totally naked, because that's when you know where you have to lose weight from. Everyone knows that fully clothed, we all look real good. But when we don't have our clothes on, we know where we need to lose weight from. Can you see that picture? Mm -hmm. Is it in focus? Mm -hmm. Is it totally focused? Mm -hmm. Can you see the color of your bathroom behind you in the reflection? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, relax. And just think about, think about how calm and relaxed you are. Are you still counting? Continue to count. And as you count, remember the picture that you see in front of you is the mirror. But that's you in the reflection in the mirror. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to draw a line down the middle of the mirror. And on one side of the mirror, see the reflection of you as you are today. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. And on the other side of the mirror, see a picture of yourself as you would like to be. Can you see that picture? Mm -hmm. Does it look better? Mm -hmm. Is it totally better? Is, is your hair the same? Mm -hmm. Is your face the same? Mm -hmm. But the rest of your body has changed, doesn't it? You can't see your ankles, though, can you? Mm -hmm. There's something in the way, so you can't see your knees either, can you? But you see that entire picture. Now, does that make you feel good to see that picture? It's different. It doesn't make you feel any better? Is it light enough? Mm -hmm. Are both pictures equally light? Mm -hmm. Okay, what I want you to do is dim the lights on the picture of you as you are today. Darken it up just a little bit, as though you turned the switch down on that side of the room. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, now turn the lights just a little bit brighter on the side of you as you are to become. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you can still see the colors on that side as you are to become. Mm -hmm. Does that make you feel any better? Are you married, Marty? Yeah. Is there a man you'd like to have come in and see you looking slim? <laughs> Imagine that picture. As he leans over and gives you a kiss on the cheek and tells you how good you look. Does that feel good? Mm -hmm. Makes you happy? Mm -hmm. And then you give him another kiss back and you say thank you. But get out of here. And you feel good about it, don't you? Okay, now, imagine yourself at the beach. Later on at the beach, you're wearing a swimsuit, and you look so good that every guy on the beach that walks by looks at you. <coughs> and you look good, don't you? Mm -hmm. And you feel good. Mm -hmm. Can you smell the sea breeze?
you smell the sea? Mm -hmm. Can you hear it? Mm -hmm. And you feel good, don't you? Mm -hmm. And that's the way you want to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what I want you to do is imagine that you're sitting down to dinner with this special guy. And he says, what would you like to eat? And you say, just a salad will be fine. Let's hear you say, just a salad will be fine. Just a salad will be fine. Okay. Can you say that again? Just a salad will be fine. Okay, and that's what's going to happen the next time you go out to dinner with a special guy. Just a salad will be fine. In fact, that's what you're going to say until you've lost all of the weight that you want to lose. So let's hear you say it one more time. Just a salad will be fine. Okay. Now let's count to the number 10 from 1. 1, 2, a little bit faster on your breathing, 3, a little more awake, 4, a little bit wider awake, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten. Wide awake. Wide awake. I didn't really feel like I was... <coughs> it wasn't very deep. Remember, in front of the group, it's pretty tough to get somebody. It's really hot. Oh, it was very warm. I think Vince was deeper than Mark. Vince was on his way out. You can always tell when he goes to sleep. The corners of his mouth is you know, wild. You know what stopped Julie. Vince, though? That's what I said to you. The special guy gives you a kiss on the cheek. Oh, that's when he woke up. Right, right out. Yeah. You know what happened? You know what happened? You know what happened? You know what happened? When you um, had me picture myself. Out. You know, in the morning, getting dressed or whatever. Um, I was picturing myself in it in my bedroom, and then you, you said, you know, the bathroom. So I had to change my picture uh -huh. and almost start over. From How was the picture? Was the picture pretty vivid? Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Very. Okay. Her first. Sorry. Could you, like, for in a session like this, and you're talking to the individuals, could you get Hypnotized with your eyes open? Yes. Yeah, that happens. That happens. Yeah, to the more hypnotizable. Why? Did you feel hypnotized? Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> that was probably a lack of oxygen in the room. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> probably part of it. Uh, there used to be something called auto suggestion. Is this similar to that? Yeah, now let me tell you what to do. Auto suggestion is what we're going to talk about now. We've we got to wrap this up because we've gone over. But auto-suggestion is when you give yourself a suggestion. And what I want you to do is, as you practice self-hypnosis at home, is give yourself the suggestion before you hypnotize yourself. And what you can do then is, and next week we're going to talk about goals and time management, goal management and time management. And I need to talk to you about that before I leave. But what you need to do is you need to give yourself the suggestion before you hypnotize yourself. And then at the end of that suggestion you say, and this suggestion will take place while I'm hypnotized. So, or something to that effect. So that while you're hypnotized, your subconscious will say, will remember that suggestion that you gave yourself, and then it will have more effect on you later on. So now, like when you're telling her, uh, you stay here till you call 100 people in the yeah. appointment or whatever, could you do that daily? Is that to self hypnotize yeah. yourself? And yeah. you count to backwards from 50 or just to relax yourself? Yeah, you never told us how to help hypnotize yourself. Oh, well, the, the easiest way is to, what I, I've got a tape, uh, audio tape so that I can uh, sell you, but all you have to do is go through the relaxation method where you relax every muscle in your body all the way from your head to your toes. Now, some people can do that without the help of an audio tape. Now, if you need one, then I can, I can get one. But most people can do it without the assistance. If you need the assistance, however, it's, it's beneficial. And now, another couple other things about hypnosis is if you don't have somebody to wake you up at the end, like if you do it on your own, you're not going to have somebody there to wake you up at the end. What's going to happen is you should, at the beginning, give yourself a suggestion to wake up after a certain period of time, remembering that your subconscious has a clock in it that's much more accurate than any Seiko or any other piece of uh, time piece out there. And it will wake you up automatically. Okay? If you forget to give yourself that suggestion, what will happen at the end of hypnosis is you will drift off into a natural sleep and sleep until your body is rested. Okay. Okay. 
Any other questions before we? So you just give yourself a suggestion as to what you want to accomplish and then go through the relaxation That's thing. That's right. That's right. And it should. That's right. And the best place to do it is in a quiet room, some place at home where you're comfortable. And the best place would be like your family room, and like a, re a recliner or some uh, comfortable chair. Okay. Can it be more than one thing at a time, or? Yeah, it can be, and there are, there are a couple of schools of thought on that. So let me tell you what they are. First off, I believe in focus, and that is one goal at a time. Now there are other people who say your mind can think of as many as seven to nine things at one time. Vince, we know, can do that. All of us can do that. But Vince does it a lot. Uh, the rest of us just have not mastered that ability. And so there is the one school of thought that says give yourself more than nine goals, and the one that is least important your mind will attach itself to and run with, and it will make it happen. The one that's least important. Not the one that's most important. Okay. But I believe in focus. I mean, I'm, either way can work, but I believe if you give yourself one and focus on that one, then your conscious mind is going to work on it as well as your subconscious mind. You don't want to confuse this, the conscious mind with, with nine goals. Just, your conscious mind, most of you can't, can't keep up with that. Okay. Anything else? Okay, that's it. What I want each one of you to do is go home and practice self-hypnosis at least once during the week, and then let's report back next week on that. Okay? Great. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, we're all relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> eat salad. Yeah. I always want to eat salad. <laughs> you will eat it. I always. I'll have a salad tonight. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But I salad. Always, darling. Always, always. Yeah, totally. <laughs> you guys know what it is? Right? Yeah, they're nice. Oh, you're a calling for a wire. So let's say you want to develop a habit. Let's say calling 100 people a day. So for a week or so, you could do that. suggestion to create a habit, then you need to do something every day for a couple of weeks. That means seven.